online programming service is a paid service. Next, let's talk about how to install VNCI J2534 Ford software or Mazda software. The system requirement for IDS installation must be Win 10 system. First of all, we need to install the Java operating environment, because the operation of IDS software depends on the Java operating environment. If there is no Java operating environment, the IDS software cannot be started. Now let's install the Java operating environment. Double-click the jvasetup.exe application. Click install and wait for a while. Secondly, you need to install the VCI underscore software dot exe software. This software is the IDS driver software. This software must be installed. Whether you install the Ford IDS software or the Mazda IDS software, Now let's install the VCI underscore software dot exe IDS driver software. This process will take about two minutes. By the way, Ford IDS software and Mazda IDS software cannot be installed on the same system at the same time, because the two software will conflict with each other, and it does not matter whether it is Ford IDS software or Mazda IDS software. This is the loader for Ford IDS software, and this is the loader for Mazda IDS software. After installing the Ford IDS software or Mazda IDS software, you need to install the corresponding loader. That is, you need to install the IDS software loader when you install the Ford IDS software, and you need to install the Mazda software loader when you install the Mazda software. The VCI underscore software.exe software has been installed. Just click finish. After installing the VCI underscore software.exe software, we will install the Ford IDS software, or Mazda IDS software. IDS underscore 129.1 underscore full.exe is the installation package, and the following IDS 129.09.exe is the upgrade package. It can be installed by default directly, no additional settings are required. This can be ignored. It will remind you that the computer needs to be restarted after installing the IDS software. It is installed by default, and you have to click Next. Here you are prompted to update the VCI underscore software.exe software, because the version of the VCI underscore software we follow is relatively low. The new version of VCI underscore software can be downloaded according to the address specified in the prompt. This is the download address. We ignore it now. Okay, the IDS software has been installed. Let's restart the computer now. The computer has been rebooted. Let's continue. By the way, whether it's Ford software or Mazda software, all must be installed in Windows 10. If not, you will can't do online programming. Let's double click the Ford loader software here. Default installation. No need to restart the computer, just click finish directly. Let's check whether all the software was completed installation. 
The first software is the VCI software. The second software is Ford IDS software. The third software is the Ford IDS loader software. All the required software has been installed. Now let's start the IDS software. Starting the IDS software via loader software. There has been an error. Indicates that the VNCI J2534 device is not connected to the computer. Let's connect the VNCI J2534 to the computer via USB cable. Let's reload the IDS software again. Here's another error information. This error message is different from the first error message. This is because the VNCI J2534 is not connected to the OBD port power supply. We are now connected to the OBD port power supply. Reload the IDS software again. Now there are no error messages. The IDS software is loaded. When loading the IDS software for the first time, it show you to fill in some information. You can fill in anything that you want. Let's enter some random information now. Okay, we're entry in the IDS software system. Here's why you need a loader to start the IDS software. Because you can skip IDS software licenses with the loader. If you have IDS license, then you can launch the IDS software directly. Well, VNCI J2534 product introduction and software installation is introduced here. Thank you for watching.